All right, this one's for a 67 GTO is what this is going in. Just getting it ready to start it. But I had to read the TCM. This is a T43. This is a 6L80E out of a Camaro. It's an 09. So I got to find the proper hardware number for the PCM to match the TCM and that's what I was doing I was in the process of reading that but I got tired of switching my bench harness around and all this because I don't always have a brand new harness to do it with right away so but we're gonna go to the bench harness we got UFI live up on the screen it's reading the T42 on the bench right there um, yeah without the E38 ECU plugged in I just have a hundred and twenty ohm resistor in there to imitate it being plugged in and you do the same thing for the six speeds for the 6L80s and 6L90s you have to put 120 ohm across the wires that the CAN bus that goes to the E38. So this resistor is imitating an E38. So I can read any of the 6 speed TCMs with that plug without the computer. So I can get a computer to match. But that's essentially what I just wanted to show. But I've had this harness set up for a while. But I got tired of unplugging it, resoldering it, so I today integrated all of them together. So, a little information. It should help some of these people out, I hope. But we're running EFI Live V2. Like I said, this is the harness I use for that is a T42, T43. E40 and the LLY that is LS so 99 to 2006 this is an E38 ECU so I got my bases covered on this one I'm gonna add in right here the 67 that I have I'm just gonna tap it in there and put it in the 67 plug Will be integrated on there then i have a whole other harness that i got set up for doing diesels but that's a whole nother story so this is just gas gm a quick view cables oh yeah the power box i made running on just a laptop inverter made sure power voltage was good amperage was good yep so it's just a laptop charger this all works good. I never plug that in at the same time as plugging in the laptop. If you do that, it will cost you some money. You'll have to ship your V2 off to get it fixed. Period. That's it. It's expensive. And I believe there's one or two places in the United States that's licensed to do it. So when you get it done, you get the tag put back on it. So a warranty is not void, which is a good thing.